think those early videos are um, are great because they have these like weird little learning mistakes and stuff in them. Just shipping it still. <laughs> <laughs> I was shipping everything back then. It was fantastic. Hey everybody, uh, we're gonna we're we're really gonna elevate today because I have my buddy Travis here up from Boston for the weekend. We're gonna play some BattleTech uh, with the new Game of Armor Combat two player starter set. Although we're not using models from it, we're just using like the components to like to play the game and try out some of the new Gale Force Nine terrain. How much battle have you been playing, buddy? Just a little bit, probably like four or five games. Four or five games? Yeah, that's not bad. No, that's enough. Enough with your Karita, your house Karita. Yeah, get some rules wrong, should be good. I'm excited to get some rules wrong. I mean, we always get some rules wrong. Yeah. But today we're really gonna we're really gonna just tip the nose of the plane down. And just try and crater as hard as we can and get no survivors at all. Phone it in. Classic <laughs> battle tech. Um, I the, the the question will be, I'm using the 3050 technical readout. The question will be if we got the era stuff right for our mechs. Because I didn't use a master unit list for once. So I don't know about the actual unit composition for Karita and for the Northland Islanders. So I'm pretty sure you can use the mechs you're using in that time period. I'm like 50% sure. I know I can use mine. I have a Highlander. The Northland Grounders can't take a Highlander, then what are they doing with their lives? I know that both of those mechs, I don't know about the model number, yeah. but at least the shell is used in, by Hescarita yeah, yeah, yeah. throughout most of the time like, immemorial. Yeah, the yeah. expanded universe. It should <laughs> yeah. be fun. We took our we took our profile sheet. It's it's always a dice roll. Like with Alpha Strike, I'm less worried usually. With Game Warmer Combat or like like classic battle attack, I'm always more worried because like, well I'm using the clan invasion, you know, like like roster sheet book. I'm hoping that whatever faction I picked can use these mechs together as long as it's in the era. It's salvage. Um, you can salvage sal anything, you can, man. You can salvage anything, you're right. So we'll share the table, we'll share the mechs we picked, and we'll get this going. All right, so here's the two battle mechs I picked. I have a Highlander 2C. Uh, it is armed with a Streak SRM-6, a Gauss rifle, a medium pulse laser, times three, and an LRM-20 with Artemis four missiles, which is very exciting. Uh, and then a Wraith TR-1, because I love that miniature. Um, and it has got two medium pulse lasers and a large pulse laser. And what is the Karita house taking? So we got the Battlemaster uh, 4S, uh, two small pulse lasers, a Gauss rifle, SRM-6 with Artemis 4, uh, two ER medium lasers, a two regular medium lasers, and then another two ER medium lasers. Uh, then a Wolverine 7D, uh, Ultra AC5, SRM6, and a medium pulse laser nice. uh, to help give you the seven Ds. <laughs> All seven of those Ds at the same time. Now we're playing on today. This is the Battletech kind of like basic mat. And because I like 3D terrain, we've got tons of new stuff from Hextech. Uh, we get the Mega Block, the Tri Tower, and the Binary Towers, which are actually connected by a little magnetic thing here. But also have inserts if you want to either shorten them or uh, have like just standalone buildings by themselves. Got the roads, the mesas and stuff too. And then a bunch of just my own homemade terrain. I uh, just some tree bricks and some difficult ground just to kind of make it a little more, uh, you know, classic battle techie. So we're going to play to the first kill. So whoever loses a battle night first is going to be the one to concede and withdraw the field. One off for deployment and we'll alternate deployments on a starting hex. You get a nine to my eight. So you get to pick a edge to start on and then we'll alternate deployment. Deploy the Wraith here on the right and the Highlander on the left, and you've got the same, your Wolverine on the left and your Battlemaster on the right. Initiative. Uh, real quick. I got a five. I'll try five. it again. I got a six, slightly better. Uh, to not to, not as better as that. So uh, you have initiative, which means I have to move first. Yep. He's slow, but he can jump three, which is very funny. So he's gonna move. Uh, he's gonna go a one, a two, a three, and just, just go right in the middle. All right, we're gonna move the battle master up three. So that'll be one, two, and then three, four. We'll kill the rest of his movement. Yep. If he can stand there. Sure can, I'll give him a team on one. Yep, so he's marked up. Astro with your four movement. Now the Wraith on the other hand, oh boy, the Wraith. Uh, this guy's got a walking of seven and a running of 11. <laughs> he's gonna run. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. I'm not sure what a TMM with an 11 is. Uh, the it's TM great. Yeah, it's a plus four. Yeah, that's what I thought there. Plus four to my TMM. Uh, zippy fast. And so it's back to you. Try and keep this uh, Wraith from getting behind you. Yeah, so the Wolverine's got a uh, run of eight. Uh, so we're going to have to go one, two, three, two, three, 
four, five, six, six seven, seven eight. eight. Perfect. Looking in the right direction. Not looking at that. Yep. That should be solid. And then I got to add the TMM. So you went one, two, three, four, four five, five, six, because yeah. it costs you two for ups and downs. And then that'll be our plus two. Yes, so we got you behind the buildings. You so the Highlander can't see you. So I got to shoot first because I lost the initiative. If the two big guys were going to fight, they might as well start right from the beginning fighting. So I've got my sweet, sweet streak LRM6, which is going to start shooting at you. Eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm going to be within 12 for long. Uh, so I think I'm not going to bother because I don't have, I have 15 shots with it. Mm, I, it's got too much heat. I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to go right to the Gauss rifle. Let's go for... Um, I walked, so I believe that's five. Four, I moved three hexes for five. Um, and then your TMM is what? Six. And you're elevated to the Pepsi, the Pops Cola sign. So there's no cover there. So it's gonna be a six or better. And I'm at medium range because I, I'm at medium range. So eight or higher. Gotcha. Uh, so where does it land? My hit location is going to be a 10, which is the right arm for 15 points of damage. That's that gun off. It's the front. Yeah. Let's look at the left side. Left arm for 15. Yep. Just the LRM is going to be shooting after this. It's medium range 14, so it also needs an eight or better to hit you. And it super misses. The Wraith can't see you, so it's back to you. All right, the uh, Battle Master is going to fire his Goss rifle back. Oh my God, we put up Goss rifles. This is so funny. Oh yeah, and then we got a 15 range, so I'm definitely within yep, that. Medium. I think it's nine yep. uh, for medium. And uh, we are... So four or five for walk, yep. six, seven for medium. And then eight for your walking. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So same thing I had to roll. We're just shooting each other. We're just complete mirrors. Oh, yep. geez. Okay. Where does That'll it land? It. And then it lands six. six, which is right torso. I was just domed each other in the first round. This would be a very short game all of a sudden. Keeping it tight Keeping real it tight. fast. Keeping it real tight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. And then we're probably going to go with uh, one of the ER lasers. Okay. Or, or two ER lasers, just because why not just pump that heat up? Uh, they are long range at this point. So it's going to be on a 10. Now. Yeah. So uh, we'll do them one at a time. First one, nope. uh, miss. Second one, miss. How much total heat is that? Two ER lasers and a it's Gauss for one. 10. It is uh, 11 heat. Per Wolverine, see anybody? He can't see uh, this guy. I don't think he can see I don't think so either. anything. Okay. New round. We both took chunks out of our big guys, and it's an issue. Oh, I somehow got that one. Moving first, our movement dice come off, and it's new turn. All right. We're gonna start right over here again with our battle master. Um, he is going to... Crush that sign. Pretty much, yeah. Just cool, made your way through the pops cola. Yeah, we're just gonna step down, one, two, uh, and then three. So it's gonna be a two movement. Yep. That use three points, and she's just going to stand right there, so he gets uh, no TMM bonus. Sweet. Well, then, we're going to go Highlander you, one, two, three, and get some cover. And get a TMM bonus of one, because you move three. Like me. Going to come, yeah. come good banana in the tailpipe. Wolverine is going gonna, is gonna to leg it. Uh, he's going to run. So one. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we'll do a pivot to hit eight. Hell so yeah. he moved a technically six uh, for a tier man. So it's plus two uh, run. Oh, he's getting dangerous. All right, well, I see how this is. Jump, we're gonna jump seven. <sighs> plus three, but we jumped. I'm just trying to play the same game right now. I'm fine with it. You get to shoot first though, cause you lost initiative. Six heat sinks. All right, so the last heat from last turn was completely cooled off. That means that we're gonna fire everything because you got a big spooky guy right behind I me. Do. I do. And I don't really want to find out what happens. That's fair. So we're just gonna run right down the list. <laughs> uh, I got nothing rear facing. What's your total heat when this is done? Uh, all of it. Uh, we got. It's gonna be four, five, nine, uh, 19, 22, uh, 32, uh, 35. <laughs> so you're going, you're going up by nine when this is all said and done. We stopped. So, so figure out what you want to do first. No, we're doing everything. There's no brakes yeah. in this train. Okay. There's no brakes. <laughs> uh, we're doing, we're going, uh, full bore right now. Okay. So for the, actually, you know what? The pulse lasers can't 
hit. Yeah. I was gonna say, there's some things that are gonna be slightly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, Just yeah. impossible for them to hit. Yeah. So we'll do the. We'll start with the Goss rifle, okay. which is now in short range. Tier four, five because you walked. Six for uh, TMM. Seven for cover. Yep. And then what's the range on the pulse of the, the Goss rifle? Short. Uh, short is Just seven. seven. Seven hit. We Boom. got it. And then where's it lands? And that ten. Oh, well, shooting each other's left arm. Arm blown off there. Uh, and next gun. All right, so we got the SRM six with Artemis four, Ooh. and that is going to uh, miss for sure. Yep. Um, seven to hit. Yep. It was. It's not in short, right? So it's probably no. nine to hit. Yeah. No. It is a uh, short. It's three. Yeah. So you're in, you're in six, which means you're in medium, which means it needed a nine. Uh, Guns next. Yep. Yeah. Two ER medium lasers, uh, which are medium range. So nines. Right now. Uh, oh. First one misses, second one hits. hits. And where's it go? Eight. Eight. Five to the left torso. Two, four, five. Our lasers. Hit. That's a hit. That one go. That one. Left torso again. Yeah. Oh, right torso, right torso on a so six. Okay. And then last one. Uh, misses. Seven misses. And then the very last one is a medium laser. We're in medium range again with a with a six distance, so nines, nines. and just cranking these nines, cranking them all day. Dude. Cranking the chest again, seven, 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 seven. Yep. How much? Uh, it is for another five. Five got it. Zero mediums. Pull off from the battle master. Anything else? He's got to fire. That's it. That's everything. All right. So you, you didn't do the pulse laser, so it was minus whatever their heat is. So heat built up. <laughs> And that means with your minus 26, you'll have five at the end of this. Time for the Wolverine. Now he ran, which means he's gonna be an additional penalty of plus two. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna have a bad time. Three for my TMM, but other than that, uh, you're point blank, man. Minimum is two, so technically he is mm -hmm. fine. He's in one, two. Yep. Yeah. All right, yep. We'll start with the uh, Ultra AC5. Oh my God. And this is a one heat. Uh, minimum range two, so, so we're four, five, six, seven because of the TMM. Yep, and then we included the run in that. Oh, you and you ran so eight. Yeah, cool. Oh, oh nine, sorry. Nine, nine yes, yeah, plus two for the run. That's right, yeah. And oh, so close. So close. So that's churning up the old heat. Uh, we'll do the SRM. No wait, four, five, six because you ran, seven for my TMM. That hit. Yeah, we've this, it's not it's not in zero range, so you're fine. Yeah, I'm only on copy one, everybody. That's okay. Yeah, we're we good. gotta we gotta level that up to about <laughs> three more numbers. Tim Hortons. <laughs> <laughs> really get that shake going. I got I got you trade up your donkeys for Tim Hortons. Let's see what we got. Oh no! no! That Ultra is a AC. Where's that land? Uh, that's head. So <gasps> how much? Uh, it's in the left. That's yeah, it's heads? it's head across, okay, the board. across the board. Oh no! Yeah, and how but damage? it's SRM. Oh, wait, that was for the Ultra AC. Yeah. Oh, uh oh. Yeah. That's five. Okay, I'm not. Okay, we're good. Dome me with that little thing. I was like, is that a big one? No, it's not a big one. It's I'm fine. always out here trying I to get dome. I have a test though, because I might get knocked down. I'm fine. I'm um, six. Any mid range? Uh, no minimum range. Short range three. So we're good there. Seven, seven again. Miss. Nope. And then uh, medium pulse laser. Same situation here. Hits. Nine hits. Where does it hit? Uh, eight is, left. yeah, we got the center torso. And how much damage? That is going to be a nice six damage. Any more guns? That's everything. All right, that's my turn to unleash the beast. Uh, we'll start with my Highlander. All right, so I'm going to start shooting, I think, with my Streak SRM. Medium range, so I'm in one, two, three, four, five, six total. So medium range, so that's going to be four, five, because I walked. Uh, and then six, seven for range. Eight, because you, oh, no, you only move two, so your team up zero. Yeah. So just seven, seven for the streak. Gotcha. Those cluster tables give me a seven, uh, which means four. Four. So that's uh, eight damage total. So it'll be five the first location, which is a nine to the front. Yep. And the front nine is a left leg. All right. So left leg takes five, and then three more to the 11. Arm, all right. Uh, that's the Goss rifle. Also going to be on a seven. He's going to be on a five because you are a four, actually, because we're in short range. I walked, though, so five. Hits 15 damage to the eight. Or so 15 more. False lasers now. This is in medium range, so it's going to be on sixes again. Or oh, no, sorry, seven, sorry, because because uh, we're in medium range. So I got three of these. They're going to be seven damage. This one 
Misses. Second one hits in the 11. So same, I think, spot as one of those things before. The left arm. Yeah, seven damage. Left arm's popped off and then, or straight into the structure rather. Yeah. Uh, so it's a critical roll or poss possible critical roll. Possible critical roll. And it is, it's a nine. Arm five. So a five on the left arm is small pulse laser is destroyed. No, I have to roll again on the small, which I get a one. So now I get a one again. So which whatever is that is. Shoulder. So your shoulder actuator is damaged. Yeah. It's gonna be harder, standing up's gonna be harder. Last one lands and it's gonna land in the nine for seven damage, the left leg. And there's an LRM 20 I can fire, which is at zero range. So it's gonna be on a five because I walked. Let's do it. Lands and it's a 20. So on the cluster table, a five damage. So it'll be five, five and two. The first one's gonna land in the nine again for five. Which is left leg. Good one is on the four for five. Last one for two is gonna be on the four. Right arm. 23 heat there, because I only fired the Streak SRM once. And that means it's over to the Wraith. And it is going to be his two medium pulse lasers in the back. Or jumped for three, uh, and then he's in two inches, so, or two hexes, so he's at zero range. So that's gonna be sevens to hit. Two heat if he fires everything, but we'll just try it. So sevens for the first pulse laser. Lands in the... Nine in the right side. Right or, side. Sorry, left side. Left side. Left side, yeah. nine, we so said? Nine, yeah, and you're gonna take yeah. six damage. To the right torso. One, uh, doesn't land. Third one, does land for uh, the three location. Which the is the side. left leg. And that'll be another six damage. A large pulse laser, it's also in short. On a seven, cranks it. 10 damage to the six. In the left side. Left leg. Sorry, nine damage, sorry, nine damage. It's 10 heat. The superstructure on the leg, so no piloting skill test for um, my Highlander. So he knocks over from 20 damage. No, eight's a good. And then for yours, the Battle Master. Oh, he's fine. He's slugging it out. All right, it's initiative round three. Let's see who's going first. It means you, actually, because yeah. I finished this. The dice come off. First move, Corita. We're just gonna. One, one two. two Three, four, five. <laughs> Just get ready for pure banana tailpipe. I'm at all sick. Uh, so that's over to me. Uh, and I'm gonna do something that you probably forgot I could do. Jump. One, two, three. You didn't put on your fancy jumpy I'm going base. to, I'm going to. Do it to. now. When he has his jump mode legs on now. So he's exactly where he wants to be. Nowhere near that Wolverine. <laughs> I think just fucking floats into the air. Like <laughs> you, you pop by, you're like, I got you now. And then it just takes off. It's like the Statue of Liberty. Just looking at it like, oh, oh no. <laughs> Cause it'd be in such slow motion too. It'd be like a Saturn rocket leaving the ground. For the move, I'm just gonna tilt mm. uh, to try to just, just just get domed in the back of the head. Sure. It, it doesn't, I mean, you're gonna move anyway. <laughs> so I might as well just take it full bore. That's fair. Yeah, that's fair. It's do I pick on you or do I pick on the Wolverine? I feel like I just keep picking on you. I could definitely stay here and get shot by the Wolverine as well, but I think I'm gonna move a little bit. Um, all of my guns are very short ranged, however. I almost have to move to like stand next to you. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine running and I'll pivot one more. Yeah. Right, not the rear. I wasn't hitting anything important in the rear anyway last turn. Yeah. Um, but I ran and I moved a grand total of one, two, well, one, two, three, four. four. So it's gonna be TMM two, I believe, or one? TMM one. TMM one running. He's moved, I think, for one, because he moved over three. Uh, no, he moved for two actual distance. Okay, then. So he gets nothing. <laughs> he's also at zero. Uh, but he walked. So that is movement. It is shooting starting with you. Big boys are just like literally staring each other down right now. So Ash really scuffed up. You're playing a little bit. The, well, the battle master in general is... He's not feeling great. He's not feeling hot. He's no. He had too many coffees and then trusted a fart. So we're going to have to... <laughs> really fire everything again back at that Highlander. Let's really eject the warp core here. Yeah, we're just okay. gonna 
What's your heat right now? Got it's anything, five got anything, left no, after no, the, uh, no damage there, the so flush. five is not, minus one movement. Yeah. There you go. So everything, in, including the small pulse lasers this time. Sweet. Uh, and just probably die. So. I mean, I'm pretty beat up too, man. My, my armor's pretty beat up, but I still have plenty of front facing armor and nothing's in my guts yet. Yeah, so. I'm trying to get deep in them guts, yeah, yeah. dude. <laughs> guts, yeah, yeah. We got our small pulse lasers, there's two of them. Uh, short range is one, but we are three away, so we're within long range for the small pulse lasers. Let's do it. Uh, you jumped. I did. And I didn't do... Jumped is just, I've, just, I've only moved three, though, so it's still yep. one TMM. It's a two. Because when you jump, you get an extra one. Yep. Just right, I forgot that thing needs to be pressed against my head. Yeah. So that's going to bring me to... God. Four? Plus five, six, because yeah. my TMM, and then long range is plus four, so 10. Yeah. Hit. First Let's, one. We're gonna roll some 10 to miss. We, oh, no, you got me. How much damage is that? That is a solid uh, three, three damage. To the? To the five. Five in the front is? Right leg. Right leg. All right, well, you got five in the leg. All right. Next round, a small pulse laser. Oh, Five no. Ten. Okay, that's a miss. Uh, if we move to the Goss rifle, we're going to be in short range. So that's going to be eight. Eight it is. Yeah. Because long range is plus what? Plus four. Plus, plus two for, for, for medium. Is All right. medium or short? Oh, I'm short in short. Short is zero. All right. So it's zero. It's uh, six? It's six, yeah. Because I'm two TMM. Six it is. Boom. Yeah. Where's it going to land? And where's it going to hit? It's going to hit the left torso four for uh, 15. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen. What? All right. Uh, SRM six is in short range. Sure so is. again, we're this looking. Is plus two now, so it's an eight. If it's short, is it short or zero? Oh, short, short, sorry, short. not medium. Short zero. Yeah. Sixes. Hit it. Got him. And then what's the cluster? The cluster Seven, is four hits at two damage each, which means you're at eight damage. So yep. five to the three. Three is the right arm. Right arm, okay, so two, four, five. The next three damage goes to the? Oh yeah, for it. Uh, six. six. In the front is? The right torso. Okay, so the right torso. So another two, three. That right torso is almost medium lasers. And this is in short range still, so we're still looking at sixes. First one hits. Uh, it is? Probably six or seven damage. Oh no, it is in, it's medium? a medium, so it'd be eight, not six. Yeah. So that's a miss. And Next then one. Hits. Th that one hits. There we go. The and that is going to be a seven. The center torso, I think. Uh, seven is center torso, and it is for five damage. Oh, okay. Um, Short range yeah. Guns, yeah. Back into the mix there. Uh, oh, wait, I'm an idiot. So the ER medium laser was short four. Okay, then you were in short range. So the one, do one more damage location, because you hit with all of them. Yeah. Seven. Seven. Center torso. So another five? Yeah. Mass hard. ER medium lasers. Yeah, so we get the medium, two more ER medium, and then another medium. Everything's in short range. Yeah. Okay. So we're just going to do the two medium lasers and then the two ER mediums. All on sixes. Yep. So the first medium laser Hits. hit, where is it hit? It hits five, which so. is the right leg. Right leg. How much is that? Five again? And that is five damage. Then we do another medium laser immediately. Hits. Six hits. Where is it hit? Six right torso. Okay, that's going to get through into my superstructure. So roll to see if there's a crit. Ooh, ooh. You're in my right leg. No. Yeah, now it's the two ER medium lasers to wrap it up. First one hits. hits. Where does it go? Nine is left leg. Left leg. Four, five. five. And then finally, the last one hits. hits. Same, Nine. Same uh, that's the left leg. So we got the Wolverine now hitting it off. Uh, you can see the wraith, that's about it. How much heat did you just accumulate? At plus whatever, so seven? That's going to be uh, a total of. With the five I already had, 40 heat. <laughs> Perfect. 14 at the start of next turn, which means you might shut down unless you can roll a four plus. What's the Wolverine gonna do? All of his guns are very short range. I don't think he can it's see It's probably anything. not worth the heat. He can see the Wraith for sure. He can? I think so, yeah. So it's 10 away. Got a missile launcher? The Ultra AC5 could do it. 
I might as well. Crack a shot? Yeah. Okay. I'm only plus one TMM right now, so it's worth a try. Yeah, it's a medium range. It's going to be six, seven. Yep. Yep. And uh, then I walked eight. Yeah, you moved yep. eight. Nope. All right, well, now that you're ripping hot, it's time for me to shoot back. Um, I'm going to start with the, the the sweet, sweet Highlander. See anything else. Now, he is going to be uh, firing that Streak LRM to start off with. He's within four, so that's going to mean that with your zero TMM, uh, he jumped, however, for plus three. He needs a seven. Nope. Lost rifle, it's within three, so it's at zero range. He needs a seven again, because it was jump. Yeah, he did. Uh, and then where does it land? In damage to the seventh center torso. Oh yeah. Three medium pulse lasers, yet again, uh, landing in me short range. So I'm seven again, because I jumped. So first one, cranks it. You're gonna take four damage to the Ooh, snake eyes. You that, that is a center torso critical. Critical to the center torso. All right, let's see what the critical is. 10? I'm oh, sorry, what Ooh. am I doing? 10. Uh, I have to 1v6, center torso. One. All right, uh, yeah, and then you got to roll again. Two. That's going to be a light fusion engine. Uh-oh, I got you an engine hit. Those and you blow up, and then you still take four to the center torso. And the last one of those is a six. Which misses. All right, and then the LRM-20 is going to be in bad range, so we're just not going to fire it. Yeah, we didn't do what we wanted to do, but we still did some damage. So now it's uh, into your side, your right side this time, from the Wraith. Uh, he did not jump, but he did run. So four goes to five, six. You got no TMM, and we're in short range for everything. So sixes with the medium pulse laser. The first one, medium pulse laser is just seven damage. So your center torso takes another three. I was looking at the heat again. Um, so the first one is going to be on a six. Nope, second one's gonna be on a six. Yep, it's gonna be six damage to the uh, 11. Left leg. That's not good, because that's already damaged. Did we go all the way through? No, nah, three left. So close, all right, then it's the large pulse laser, which lands, and it lands in the 11. That's the left leg again. All right, so that's all the damage, so it's gonna transfer then, because it's gonna take nine. So whatever's left transfers. So six will transfer up. Uh, it transfers into the armor left torso, I'm pretty sure. I don't think it goes right to the structure. Your leg blown off. <laughs> You're facing after you fall. One, same direction. So you fall face down and you take a hit to the front. Nine points of damage to the front, to the seven. To Center torso. Yeah. 18 heat, which I'll just bleed off next turn. 23 over here, which again, I'll bleed off completely. Dude, uh, you gotta take a pilot roll. skill test, don't I, to make sure I don't go uh, unconscious? I have to make a piloting skill test? You have to make, yeah, you're making a seatbelt test, which yeah. is a pilot skill, yeah. So yeah. Roll, your, roll your pilot skill test. Nine. That's good. Yeah, and then you dig, you've taken your first hit, so you mark it. Belt engage. And I took a ton of damage on the, um, the Highlander, who needs a five now to pass. He does not fall over. Let's see who's going first again next turn. A nine. Ooh, I once again have the initiative, so you get to move first. All right, so uh, first you have to avoid shutdown because you have a ripping hot battle master. Yeah, forgot about that one. So yeah. it's a uh, four plus. Ooh. You're good. You just narrowly dodge that one. Oh, yeah. And then you have one movement point and you can't run, but you could jump if you had jump chess. You don't, though. Yeah. Uh, because you're currently face down. And you have a plus five to your pilot skill rolls. And I believe if you fail, you take the damage again. Yeah. So we're going to try We're gonna try to sit up just so I can level some guns at you. Okay. Nine plus the stand up because your pilot skill roll is four and then you're plus five having a, a shot off leg. See what happens? No. So you're going to fall again. You take nine more damage to the front. To the eight this time. Left torso. And it's another seatbelt check. And potentially a crit. It is a crit. A crit. Left torso crit. Six. Uh, that is going to be. One yep. thing, and then two. Uh, medium laser destroyed. Oh no! So you lost medium laser. And that's a seatbelt check again. Because you, you just fell down again. Eight. Eight. You're fine. You've still got the Wolverine left. I feel like he's just going to go one, two, three, four, five, and walk. Uh, six, seven, because there was plus two for the two levels I went up there. And I'll give him one. Oh, no, he only moved two, so nothing. The uh, Wolverine is going to just take a little walk. Get somewhere I can't get away from. One, two, three, four, and then pivot. And just wait for it. Yeah, and just accept. <laughs> I'm gonna do something amazing. I'm going off the top rope. <laughs> One, two, three. I'm gonna jump to death from above you. <laughs> like so. So about me, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care at all. all right, uh, so you are shooting first because you are the one who is um, 
going second this turn. And you can still shoot with your arm weapons with your prone battle master because he can he can prop his arms up. Left arm and a right arm. We'll hit the uh, Goss rifle from the right arm. Okay. And who's he going to shoot at? He's going to shoot at... You can shoot him for sure. I mean, I guess yeah. you can only shoot him. Okay? You can only shoot him. Uh, it is going to be a negative for minus one due to minimum range. And I have one because I jumped. I didn't move enough squares to make it bigger than that, but I do have one TMF yeah. for jumping. So that's going to be six. Six total. Um, and, oh. Too close? Yeah. Okay. You're inside your room range. Yeah. Seven, because too close. Uh, for the uh, Goss rifle. And hit. And where does it hit? Six. Six is on the right torso. Okay, that's going to go in my guts for 15. It's three, six, nine, 12. 15, roll for crit, eight plus. You did, nope. and what is it in the right torso? On the six, roll again. Four. Four, roll again. One. Yeah, okay, that's my ammo. My Gauss ammo just like li cooked off. I have Gauss ammo, which means that it doesn't blow up because I would have taken 75 points of damage there otherwise, and my mech would have been destroyed. So you hit me real well. Um, I am badly damaged in my right torso, but I'm still alive. Yeah, so I still got two small pulse lasers yep. that I'm, I'm gonna rip shots off at you at. Um, so I think it's still a seven to hit. Sure is. Nothing's changed. Uh, first set hits. In the? Uh, two, no, which no. is a crit. No, no, is that the head? No. Crit, okay, just roll, roll something good. All right, so. D6? Yeah. Two. Two, that's gonna be the top column, and then. One. It's a fusion engine takes a hit. Boom. And no. Heat every round. A uh, little small pulse laser. Last laser, yeah, on the seven. Nope. You had some modifiers to hit, I'm pretty sure from your heat too, that we probably forgot about, because you had about 15. You were close. Oh, oh yeah. to hit, that's okay. <laughs> To hit overall. It's not a big deal. My bad. You rolled high enough in all those dice rolls. It didn't matter. Yeah. Wolverine. Go get him there. Oh, yeah. Wolverine. Charlie Sheen. Wolverine. Charlie Sheen's going to do his best over here with the Ultra uh, AC. You guys are the Karita Red Dawn, just so you know. This is this is entirely appropriate, although you wouldn't be Charlie Sheen. I don't know how many of your audience members have seen Red Dawn. I'm gonna Dude, Red Dawn had a Chris Hemsworth in it. 90%? Remember? They remade Australian Red Dawn. I don't know why they remade it. <laughs> it was a perfect film. Fine. Anyway. Ultra AC, uh, I walked, you jumped, uh, so we're at One, two, six. three, four, five, looks like. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, and then everything's going to be, or the first one will be in short range. For Ultra AC5, yep. uh, six does it right. Yeah, because it's just the two modifiers yep. I walked in wrong. Um, and that is five damage. To my center torso? Yep. So once again, we're looking at one, two, three, four, five. I like how the lights are almost completely on. It's just like, nope, we're just, we're dealing with big guys here. Yeah, we're just having a big fight. That's right. Next gun. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go, it's going to be up to eight because I'm in medium range for the SRM6. Uh, and nope. No, I won't do it. And the medium pulse laser is in long range, so that's up to a 10. That's not good. A little heat, but I think it's probably under control. And it's time to crush some guns at you again. Uh, and then maybe step on your neck. All right, uh, so we're gonna be on the right side with the, um, the whatchamacallit, the DFA. So I'm on a seven for dfa -ing. Uh I'm in zero range for everything except for the Gauss rifle, which is gonna be minus two. It's gonna be on a nine. I'm gonna try anyway. Nine with the Goss. Nope, so close. Pulse lasers, they're gonna be on sevens because we're at zero range here. So the first one hits for seven points of damage to the four. The arm's gonna take seven damage. Did that get transferred to the right torso? Or right nope, no, 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 right arm just goes, it, the arms are front and back. It's just okay. the torsos that if we land the torso that go backwards. One, misses. Third one, hits. And I actually have some heat from jumping last turn, but it wasn't enough for uh, breaking me up this time around. Yep. Um, and it's going to be in the nine for seven. Which damage. is left leg, which is gone, which so is... So transfer to the left torso. Which is also not good. Seven? Yep. For the torso, yep. two streak LRMs, uh, and that's going to be, sorry, SRMs, and they're going to be in short. So we're looking for sevens yet again. First one 
hits. It is a SRM six. So the cluster table, I roll a seven. It is eight damage. So the first five lands in the six. Which is on the rear right torso. Uh, so six that's damage. six damage. I got you have armor left there. <laughs> and then the second one is, I'm sorry, five damage actually. So one less. And the next one's on the 11. Um, left arm Which is, three. okay. For that left arm, because the armor's gone. We do. So left arm crit. A six, uh, a re-roll again. A four, which is a re-roll. Oh my God, stop it. Three, so Three. top table, six. Uh, small pulse laser destroyed. And that was eight, nine, plus 12 is 21. I did not fire the LRM, but I did jump. And then it's the Wraith. He's got his sweet, sweet lasers, uh, which are going to be two medium pulses. They are still within two, uh, so they're in zero range. He moved, so fours. That'll land. Uh, that's going to be to the six. You're going to take six damage to the right rear. So, so that's, that's a potential threat. No. Nope. One lands on a five and hits you in the four to the rear. Which is right arm. And then the last one hits. This is going to be 10, or sorry, nine damage to the five. It takes nine damage. Are you on the ground? Yeah. All right, it's just death from above time. Plus three to the attack roll for jumping, the, the gator number. So it'd be a seven, but I'm minus two because you're prone right now. So it's gonna be on a six, five. So on a five, I land on your head. Potentially. Oh, I, I definitely land on you with both feet. Okay, so I'm gonna land on, on your rear armor with both feet. The damage for a DFA attack, and I might fall over after this, is that I do my weight divided by 10 times three. So that's going to be 27 damage. So I'm 90 tons, uh, goes to nine damage times. So I'm gonna be on, yeah, I'm gonna be on the punch location for the damage and it's in the rear. Uh, so if I roll a six on this dice and it's divided up like a cluster attack when I land on you, so it's by five. So I'm gonna roll this five times and then a sixth time for two damage. So the first one, one is gonna be left torso, or sorry, front left arm for five damage. Two is gonna be four, which is the right torso for five damage. I just double foot, I just like Goldberg you. The third one is gonna be the two left torso for five damage. I, crit, crit options. In, crit options in here, yeah. So is that, so I've done two crits so far? Yeah. So the first one is a crit, that's a box car crit uh, to the, what was it, left torso? And a three is what I rolled. So yeah, and then. And then a five. So the. Oh God, okay. <laughs> Did I hit some ammo? So the, the Artemis SRM oh no. is gone. And how much how much ammo is in there? What is this? <laughs> well, let me find this. The damage gets applied into the structure. <laughs> All right. We left in the torso. In the center that. torso. You're still alive somehow because you'd fired enough of those rockets that just didn't instantly kill Oh yeah. All right, that was the third or fourth one. Uh, then the fifth one, six, the head takes five damage. Last one for an extra, because this is 27, two damage. Goes to the two. Goes to takes two more. Which is completely gone. So it goes into the center torso. And check just one. Check for, yeah, check for your. Eight, it does. Yeah. And then a one, which is top table, and a two. On the center torso, that's already gone. So you're rolling again, a five. It's a gyro. Okay. Really one point of damage left. <laughs> just not. Stepped right on your neck. <laughs> All right. Um, I guess the Wraith finishes you off while you're on the ground, but I gotta make a piloting skill test at plus four to see if I fall down. So I'm on an eight. I'm fine. Just stick the landing, move out to the square, just stand over you. Sup? Just two big boot prints in the back of the Battlemaster. And the Wraith has already fired because this was the physical fight phase. I think that's it, right, man. <laughs> That's all. Last initiative roll probably for this turn. Oh. Because if you fall down, it's gonna be a problem. I got a seven. Oh. Uh, you're, you're moving first. You wanna try and stand up? Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna do it. We're gonna try. Oh my God. We're rocky flooring right here. Uh, this is terrible. What do we have, like a nine minimum? Uh, yes. It's plus five because you're blown off leg. Nope. So, nope. So you take front damage again, roll location. Oh yeah. Take nine damage to the eight. I feel like you just and, crack in half when you try and stand up. Pretty much. Oh, it's left torso, which goes to center, <laughs> yeah. which means. Yeah. He just splits in half when he tries to move. Because it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, there's technically nine left on the. Then you're fine. 
then you're still alive. You just heave back down to the ground. You gotta make a seatbelt test again though, as you can try to stand up and you have one box left in the middle here. Let's see what happens. Seven, you're awake, I think. Is it the third hit? You're still awake and you're still conscious. Uh, that was your first move, so it's back over to me. I mean... Do it again. <laughs> he's just gonna keep dunking on you, I think he's done. To the other side though, we'll just go like this. Feels like the right thing to do. Mm, like before he gets any ideas, we'll just go over the top rope at you. You're just to get into some, short, some, some difficult terrain. Yeah, yeah. Like one, two, and just stop in the short range. I'm into it. All right, so you get no mods though. And then we're just gonna stand still with the wraith. There, you're just gonna sit there. Uh, you can shoot me. We can try. You sure can. Um, we got one, one chance. <laughs> Do with it. the battle master. Do it. Shoot me in the back. He's gonna, I mean, you're right here. You can literally shoot me in the back right now. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do it. Uh, it is you're plus two to hit because you're prone, prone. And then I jumped for three, so you're on a seven here. Because you're in super short range with the goss, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So it'd be nine. You're right. And oh, he's got it. Did it? And where does it land? Just boxcar me. Snake eyes and boxcars. No. Oh. Eight. Where's eight? Eight is in the rear. It's gonna be left torso. Left torso rear, that's almost all my left torso arm. Oh my! Not back yet. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> all right, uh, next gun, your other arm. That's it. Oh, that's it's right, gone. I blew off the other, uh, the other uh, weapon, didn't I? Okay, uh, then it's Wolverine's time. Finish me off, Wolverine. Wolverine is gonna completely whiff this. I got, I got no head. If you can do eight damage to my head or seven damage to my head, I'm dead. Get the other save because you're in short range. Yep. Six, miss. No! Yes, so that's what I expected. SRM six, <laughs> uh, same situation. Hits. Uh, eight hits, and it's got a Cluster. six, so we're looking at. Six and. That's gonna four hits. Times two, so it's two, eight damage. Yep. So the first five goes to. The head? Yep. Senators are crit, okay. So, but it's a critical roll, so roll a critical. My engine's already damaged. Uh, it should have been one dice, one it dice. Should have been one dice, one dice. Yeah. yeah. So roll a six and a six would be roll again. Yep. So first one, top column. Second one, five. That's a gyro. Ooh. All right. Good amount of damage. Medium pulse. Medium pulse. Are we? Uh, we're two away. So short range. Yep. Six damage. Got it. Did it. And where is it? Four is the right arm. Same as the right arm. All right. Right arm's getting down. All right. Time for revenging. Um, I'm gonna hope my DFA kills you. I'm just gonna shoot my Wraith into your guy for him. So let's do the Wraith. He's in two still. He didn't move. If we're not moving, uh, I'm in short range. You have no TMM, so it's just a straight up minus two to hit because you're prone. <laughs> you know what I got? Medium pulse lands a six damage to the 10. Left arm. Uh, so left arm, six damage. This is in the battle master. Yeah. So no, no. <laughs> it's it's dead. So yeah, man. Just, <laughs> it goes directly to the middle, and he yeah. cracks in half, and that's good. Mighty wraith. I just want to see if the DFA hits him. <laughs> I just want to see what happens. Minus two to hit. So I need a five again. I sure do. So twenty-seven points of damage again to your back. <laughs> Absolute <laughs> legs. The torso just disappears under a cloud of Highlander. Silly mech, this Highlander. But I love the fact that it can make DFA attacks to do 27 damage. It's perfect. <laughs> it makes me so happy. He probably fell over though and maybe died. Did he fall over? He did not. Because it's plus, uh, plus four to his. The big boots in medium style. So I'm really happy with this terrain. I'll be honest, playing battle, classic Battletech this way makes me more inclined to want to play classic Battletech without having to do like a ton of 3D printing or crafting my own 3D terrain. So I'm so happy that this Hextech stuff exists because it lets me visualize the table and like see line of sights and stuff like that. And it means that we can, I can play this crunchier game and not have my brain melt. Count on paper mats, trying to figure out, okay, that's two, seeing the visual representation and just knowing that's three high. Yeah. That's so much better. So much, so much different for like drawing line of sight and stuff like that. It, re it really makes a difference when it comes down to playing the game. That ended violently. That ended so violently. I'm into it though. That was a, a lot of silly things happened in that game. I liked all the jumping. I liked that your Highlander was shooting gas clouds. 
because unbeknownst to the viewers, I would spray my own gas clouds <laughs> that whole game. Just standing. I think some of them were beknownst. Yeah. I think the Lavalle mic managed to, to not capture all of that. There's going to be a lot of peeking on the mic. It's not good. <laughs> um, we said we we're going to fly the plane all the way to the ground. We did it. Just really nosedive the quality of the content. I can't wait to see what Reddit has to say about this. <laughs> it's going to be fine. I'm so, I can't believe you haven't been here in three years. I'm, I'm so <laughs> glad you're back. Um, Boston represent, mass represent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you. This is what happens when you don't have your donkeys. You have Tim Hortons yeah. inferior iced coffee in you that you've been chugging all morning. Yeah, well, I only had one in about 30 seconds, but... How fast you opened your jaw and just consumed an iced coffee. It was like was a disturbing. snake. <laughs> You're like a boa constrictor for coffee. It was really disturbing. It's important. <laughs> um, so we managed, uh, I think, probably one of the most visually fun games I've played in a while just because I could actually see what was going on, on the table and know where everything was going. I'm really excited to play more Battletech using these buildings and this terrain. I want more of those mesas and different size mesas. I'd really like it if they made some with like the buildings like like stuck to them. Yeah. I'd be cool like where there's like techni techno -y bits coming out of them or like just some more mixed like terrain. I'd like if they came out with the, I know it's a little bit more difficult but like the trees on those paper maps mm -hmm. are game changers. Mm -hmm. Like you can't shoot through the tree trees that blocks. And yeah, you have your own trees, but it'd be great if they had some sort of stands of trees you can move around. Yeah. yeah just yeah, to, some foliage for the lazy people like me. Like I don't really want to, Design the trees. It'd be cool. I made them myself out of like woodland scenics. Yeah. And MDF bases. Yeah, right? I'm never going to do but that. But like <laughs> you saw the difference. We just put down the hex tech terrain. But then when I added like the little bits of rough ground and stuff like that, it really makes it look like a battle tech mat. Exactly. Like 3D, right. Yeah. So that was a big deal for me too. Adding that I think would be the ultimate like this is now perfect for sort of pickup games. We have a bit of everything. We have a yeah. bit of everything that you can like mix together. Yeah, because the big blocking stuff is one thing, but having that kind of the feel of classic Battletech mats is always counting how many pieces of like trees are in front of you and moving to rough terrain. Like yeah. that little bit of extra stuff I think would add a lot to those mats. Just tripping over rubble. And yeah. Being like, yeah, yeah, yeah. There goes a 400-year-old like, machine. And I know they couldn't do this, but it would be cool if um, you had like destroyed mechs as like difficult terrain. I would like to see something like that, like blown up vehicles, destroyed mechs. Because one of the things that always happens in a Battletech game is it looks like no one's ever lived there. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's never the stuff that you would think would be around, like parked vehicles and stuff like that. I was thinking about basing a bunch of the death ray designs, like just flatbeds and like weird vehicles to have around. So there are extra things that are on the table. Because that's the difference for me is because I'm such an immersion gamer and I yeah. love the Battletech miniatures. I want the world to feel lived in too. Absolutely. And like having that little bit of extra stuff is like really, really key, I think, to get that done. And before we see the comments, we know that each hex is 30 meters wide. Yes, we know yeah. that. We know that. We know that this scale is all truncated. Yes. And also we know that that there are 3D printing companies out there that make all this stuff already that you yeah. could go and do. But like being able to crack a box open and have it ready to go, that's the scale force science thing. Yeah. And I think that for the Battletech community in particular, where there's lots of people that just play with counters or unpainted miniatures, having something that adds that to their game that's just like rip and go is a big deal. So I'm not saying it's for everyone, but I'm saying for the, this particular market, I think there's a huge yeah. probably like customer base for that kind of stuff. For the mid 30s to mid 40s. No time. I yeah. Play a game on a kitchen table space. Yeah. yeah. I've got to ignore a text message and then play this game. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to ignore several text messages yeah. and play this game. Well, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you for more Battletech in the future. Thanks for bringing your Karita, man. Um, hopefully, like, I mean, you're here all weekend. So hopefully, you get to play some Alpha Strike with me too. And we'll Absolutely. Do some extra games. We'll, we'll go back and forth and show this same Hextech terrain not on Hex Grid. Should be cool. Um, so we'll see you for more of this in the future.